Hey what's up everyone this is Baljee from JK welcome on my channel and this video we are going to assign IP address to com card for Allen Bradley PowerFlex VFD drive so you can control your VFD drive remotely through the ethernet cable first let's uh, jump to the VFD drive and card I show you how I have uh, hooked up and how they are look like as you can see I have a PowerFlex Allen Bradley VFD drive and I have a connected already com card to the VFD drive and I also have it connected my com card to my laptop one end I have an ethernet cable connected to the com card and second end I have a connected to my PC before you assign IP address you need a couple things to remember first you need a MAC ID from the com card you need a MAC address every com card I have a unique MAC address Secondly, you need an IP address you are going to assign to this com card. Once you have all information gathered, then we are going to use software called boot p to assign IP address. So we have everything. I have hooked up my com card already, VFD drive connected to my PC, everything and powered up. Now we will go to our uh, computer. We will do a couple settings before we go to the software. For this one, as we know, we are going to assign IP address. In my case, I'm going to assign 123, 123, 123, 194. So I have to change my adapter setting. So I will go to my local area network and I will go to network setting. I will say change network adapter. I will click on local area property. Then I will change network protocol 4 to my same group. As if you can see, I have 123, 123, 123, and 245. Actually, I just picked up 245. You can put 220, 230, near or higher number, whatever you are going to assign IP address. Now we save all the information. You close, you close. Then now we are going to open software boot P. Once you open, it will appear your IP address you have already in a network setting. You select that one and press OK. It will take a couple seconds. It will uh, show your uh, uh, COM card already connected to the PC here. Then we are going to right click and we are going to say add relation. And in my case, I have done quick. You can wait for a couple seconds. We are going to do again, right click, add relation. You see it have appear already MAC address. Now we are going to put IP address. We are going to assign to this card. Okay, so my IP address 123, 123, 123, and 194. We're simply going to press OK. Once we press OK, you can see it drop in the bottom menu. And at the bottom, it says a sent IP address already sent to the Ethernet servers. So now we are going to click on right click and say disable. That's all you have to do. It will take a couple seconds. At the bottom, you will say disable. It will say command successfully. Disable boot P command successfully. That means you have already assigned IP address to your COM card. So now we have to make sure our COM card is already connected to our uh, Ethernet uh, remotely with our uh, PLC software. So for this one, we are going to choose our RS Links Classic and we will open our Ethernet uh, driver and you can see. We have a here uh, our assigned IP address and VFD all information appears here. That means our VFD drive is connected to the COM card and we can connect control this VFD remotely. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And next video, we are going to reassign a new IP address. Thank you very much.